Hi everybody and welcome back to Nerdvana Reactions. I'm Anna and today we are checking out Austin Brown and McKenna Hartland doing Never Had a Dream Come True. Now I have a long relationship with this song. I was very much a pop person back when S Club 7 was big and I did hear about the recent death of Paul and this was always my favorite of their songs. I went and refreshed my memory on it a little bit because it had been a few years since I'd heard it. And I can't wait to see what Austin and McKenna bring to this because I just checked out her song LA and I was just astounded. Um, I can't wait to see what they bring to this. I hope you all enjoy the video, and if you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, my Cash App link is in the description below. Austin, <laughs> just <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, <laughs> but it wasn't Austin coming in like that. I guess I'm used to when. Austin or Home Free have a featured artist. The featured artist kind of takes center stage a lot. And yes, this being done as a duet does mean it'll be a lot more equal between who gets to shine. Um, <laughs> I was not expecting him to be the first one I heard. And that run, oh my god. Okay, we're just going to start over. <laughs> Everybody's got something they had to leave behind. One regret from yesterday that just seems to grow with time. There's no use looking back or wondering, or wondering how it could be now. Or might have been. Been. been all this I know, but still. Okay, so I wasn't sure how they were going to do this as a duet exactly, since for the original song, Joe pretty much takes the entire lead and you get background harmonies from everybody else. I really like the call and response they've got going. I like how they've more or less maintained the same, I guess speed with it. They haven't slowed it down or sped it up really. But it feels a little faster just because they've got that call and response going. So far I'm really enjoying this. And I'm sorry in advance if I cry because like I said I've known this song since I was a preteen and with one of the members recently dying every chance this might hit me a little harder than I expected. <laughs> Still I can find ways to let you go. I never had a dream come true till the day that I found you. Even though I pretend that I've moved on, you'll always be my baby. Never found the words to say. You're the Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So when I did L.A., I was pretty sure at that point that her voice and Austin's were going to mesh really well. And I was definitely right on that because they both have a little bit of an accent, but not so much that it's like turning this into a country song, more just enough to really give it a nice emotional resonance. And when we got that section where that we just listened to where they were both on it at the same time that just really reinforced me thinking that the two of them were going to sound phenomenal together because I can't even like it's kind of hard to tell if this was shot in the same place because it looks like it was but at the same time it's a very simple setup so it could have been shot separately and kind of I don't know but since she is in Nashville good chance I guess okay um okay so it does seem like it was filmed together okay that's what I was wondering because (laughs) with a song like this that has a very strong piano backing track I was wondering if Sebi was the one on the piano Okay. <laughs> Somewhere in my memory, I lost all sense of time. And tomorrow can never be. Cause yesterday is all that fills my mind. Are you looking back or wondering, oh, wondering how it should be now? Or might have been, been all this I know. So I was commenting on her having a perfect voice for more old school styles and specifically that very jazzy feel. I love what they've done with the slight remix on this section. The arrangement is just, oh, both the piano part and the vocal parts have taken a slightly more up-tempo jazzy beat and i love that yes you will say you will you know you will be is insane like it's hard to tell without having access to a piano and yeah I in theory do have a keyboard app on my phone that I could pull up but that's something I wasn't prepared for because I wasn't foreseeing having to do this her chest voice seems to be more alto range but she is flawlessly and for all evidence given easily hitting these high notes that just holy they (laughs) 
I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this cover of a song that's iconic to me in my childhood. Never had cream come true by S Club 7. Uh, we were trying to figure out something that we could do for a long time, and this popped into my head. And uh, I, I sent it to her. I was like, what if we did this? She was all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, McKenna Hartnett. She is something else, eh? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Where can they find you? Where can the internet come and hear the rest of your incredible music? This was an honor to do it with you, and I can't wait for the next one. Um, you can find me at McKenna Martlin on Spotify, Instagram, anywhere you stream. Uh, I have lots of music coming out this year. So, Not to cut her off, but I really hope they do do more together because, yeah, I... I don't know whether Austin got the idea for this because of Paul's death or if it was something they had thought of before that. Presumably they would thought of it before that because, I mean, this... I assume generally it takes a lot longer to handle post-production on even a simple music video than it does for like one of my videos for instance and Paul's death only happened about a month ago so I don't know whether that would have been an inspiration or not but yeah the timing on it is just a beautiful tribute whether it was intended in that way initially or not. I love that this is what they went with because it's a beautiful song. The arrangement choices they made were phenomenal. They somehow found a way to take an already really strong pop ballad and take it down to a very beautiful, almost haunting duet. And I don't know who did the arrangement. I don't think it says anywhere on here, but I, I would like to know. <laughs> Cause I feel like from what I've seen of McKenna so far, and from what I know about Austin, either one of them could have very easily handled the arrangement on this. Oh. So, keep in touch, and let's do this again. Absolutely. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I'll put all her stuff in the description below. And ladies and gentlemen, if you liked this and you want to help me make more music videos just like this, head over to austinbrownmusic.com. Uh, there's an incredible community of light and love. We do so much fun stuff there. If you want music videos uh, of me singing for you, if you want like a video shout out, you know, so many different things are available for you there. Check it out. It's an incredible community. Thank you so much for tuning in. Also, big shout out to Jasper Fuentes for filming this behind the camera today. He is the man. His stuff's going to be down there if you ever need any film work. Check him out. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you. Thank you for everything and keep tuning in. That was phenomenal. And I, I, I've been using that word a lot today. Apparently that's my word of the day. But yeah, I, I... I'm gonna have to listen to this so much because 
like Austin said, that there was a certain period where you could not avoid S Club 7, even if you weren't really a pop person. And I was. So this song was just so iconic. And considering Austin and I are the same age, um, technically he's six months older, but you, you know, we had roughly that same level of exposure to their music and it was so influential on me and apparently also on him. So I'm really glad that he chose to do this song with her because they rocked that. Like, that was beautiful and so emotionally powerful and just the little changes that they did make, not just with taking it from a lead with six backing harmonies but to taking it like they made slight pitch changes in various areas that really gave it more emotional depth all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video i will see you in the next one